Good day, folks. My name is Tim Baggs, and I'm coming to you live from the Boston Technology Center. I'm super excited to be here today to actually share with you our Manufacturing Center of Excellence. So I'm going to take some time uh, today to kind of walk through some of the amazing technology that we have on display uh, from Microsoft and our partners. And I'm really excited to actually be able to demonstrate for you uh, some of the uh, demos that we have here live. I also have with me Phil. Uh, Phil's going to work with me as well, so you'll see him pop in uh, shortly. So let's start. So first, I want to highlight uh, this amazing piece of uh, demo that we have here uh, from three of our partners, uh, Railware, Iconix, and Delta. Uh, this piece of technology is used heavily in the smart building industry to be able to monitor control systems and be able to surface that information up into the cloud. The railware helmet over here is also used by technicians in the building uh, when they're out operating on machinery to be able to see live data coming through and understand uh, what needs to happen, how it needs to be adjusted in order to improve the efficiency of those buildings. So we're super excited to have them here in the MTC uh, and, and definitely excited to have them as part of our IoT platform. Back here, we have the industrial IoT wall. It's an amazing uh, set of technologies from many of our partners across the industry. So you'll see here we have Hewlett and Packard and their edge technology. We've got Siemens and Mitsubishi. Uh, down below, we've got Honeywell and their smart grid technology. And certainly, we've got a number of other uh, control systems that are on display here that we use to showcase how an end-to-end -end industrial manufacturing facility operates. It's a great uh, experience for our customers to have uh, when they come in, they want to envision how industrial IoT can impact their business. Uh, over here, we have our Kagool. Uh, and shortly, Phil's going to be demo demo demonstrating this for us. Uh, but this is a great piece of technology that showcases how the Azure Digital Twin and SAP can be integrated together to create an end-to-end -end experience. And to make a lot of this happen, uh, we actually rely heavily on technology such as the HoloLens. Uh, HoloLens uh, can be integrated with uh, industrial uh, safety equipment, like this helmet here. Uh, this is done by our partner, Trimble. And as you can see, if you're out in the field, uh, this would be a great piece of technology to have to augment your experience. So you have your safety helmet, but then you've got the HoloLens 2 embedded inside of it, allowing you to sh have data at your, uh, at your eyesight and at your fingertips, literally, um, to be able to uh, get information on equipment, see plans and schematics, and be able to uh, operate out in the field. And then we have the HoloLens 2 base unit. So this unit right here uh, is a fantastic piece of innovation from Microsoft and allows us to bring holograms to life, uh, and especially in the manufacturing space where frontline workers and operational staff are in dire need of information um, right where they are. So I'm gonna be showing you how the HoloLens works, uh, specifically with the Howden pump here. This pump uh, is gonna be, a, a, um, it will, we'll be operating on this pump to showcase how we can replace and repair out in the field using the HoloLens too. So before I do that though, like I said, I wanna have Phil uh, showcase Google. So with that, Phil, you want to take it away? Thanks, Tim. This is the Lego Google uh, Excavator IoT enabled solution that uh, uses custom vision AI at the edge to identify uh, beads, these colored beads that uh, come through this solution and sends the data to Azure IoT uh, Hub, which then integrates with our Azure Digital Twin, uh, which then allows you to be able to interact with this device without being in front of it. Obviously, for this demo, I'm in front of it. Uh, other scenarios that you could implement at this would be like a on a manufacturing line, you could be leveraging the same custom vision AI models to do that, to identify, uh, you know, rips in sheets of paper or you know defects in manufacturing processes those are some different use cases uh, that could be leveraged the same way but for this demo we're going to be using this lego excavator wheel for this uh, i'm going to start up the wheel it's a little noisy and so it runs off of this azure connect camera that will identify the colors of these so I'm going to just put some in for here. Now I'm going to start the app that's on my HoloLens 2. I'm going to choose single player. And then this robot streams off. 
On the left hand side, you're going to see this status dashboard that shows all of our Lego excavator wheels that are deployed throughout all of our MTCs. So this is, we have in Boston, Seattle, Chicago, the one in front of me is Archimedes, it's deployed in Chicago. And then in front of us, we have this graph. It's called world, uh, you can drill into it, it's worldwide. And then we have North America and then Chicago. So Archimedes is deployed in Chicago and then here's the wheel. And it's the exact same wheel that's in front of me. So you can actually see it here. Down below, we have the last color of B that it identified. And then we also have this integration into SAP. So I'm going to feed some more marbles or beads into this. And you can see that on the device, you can see the colors of the beads that it's doing. So if somebody was in a different country and they were monitoring this, they would be able to see that a red marble came through a bead or a blue marble. So you can actually see that down below, it will tell you again, what was the last color, blue, uh, how many times that we saw it. And let's pretend that the last marble wasn't blue that was identified. You can actually go and create a corrective maintenance report and send it to SAP. So it will integrate with SAP, send that information in, it will create a work order that will have a uh, somebody come out and look at the device and say, hey, we need to update this custom vision model. Then if you wanted to also pull a report, we also have integration into Power BI as well. So you can go click on Power BI. It will generate a report, which will then show into the person's uh, HoloLens, the report, which will show activity of all the Lego wheel excavators across the globe. So with that, I thank you for your time today, and I'm going to throw it back to Tim. Hey, thanks, Phil. That was fantastic. Uh, Kogul is such a great partner, so I'm really excited to actually showcase our next partner. Um, so with us here um, is PTC. So PTC and Howden uh, have gotten together to create a, a fantastic experience using HoloLens and PTC View. Um, so as I, uh, I'm going to quickly just jump in and put my HoloLens on and get the demo set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have the HoloLens um, on my head, I've got it adjusted so it fits comfortably. I'm now going to walk through uh, the Howden pump uh, demonstration. So this demonstration is actually brought to us by our partners PTC, and so I'm using their View application in order to be able to visualize what's happening in this pump while uh, servicing it out in the field. So for this demo, I'm gonna take the role of a, of a service technician operating in this pump. And this pump I haven't had the opportunity to work with in uh, several uh, months, so I wanna be able to re-familiarize myself with uh, how it's functioning, as well as some of the safety protocols. Up here, I have a nice dashboard that's available for me for this particular unit. So the first thing I wanna be able to understand is how is the pump operating right now? So I want to turn on operations so I can get a read on what's happening. So I can see the live values coming from this pump, being able to see the suction pressure, the discharge pressure. I'm actually able to kind of get a visual of how this pump operates while it's uh, up and running. And uh, I notice that the discharge pressure is a little bit low for what we like. And so I'm going to start to look into what I may have to do to repair um, this particular unit. So before I do that, I first want to familiarize myself with some of the safety protocols. So I'm going to turn on all the safety alerts and notifications that I may need to be aware of as I'm going to operate on this pump. So right away, I can see that there's some high pressure that's going into the pump from those lines right there. Um, there's also high temperature there at the top of the unit, so I certainly want to be careful there when I, when I go to uh, dismantle the top, uh, top unit. I can also see that there is an outline here give me a notification that I should be, be careful when getting into the, the unit's uh, operating area. And then there's some electrical back here as well that I'm gonna wanna be aware of. That's great. So before I begin my repair, I'll make sure that I uh, take the right precautions uh, to, just, to, shut those unit, to shut the unit down properly. So the next thing I wanna do is, uh, I'm gonna wanna walk through a little bit of training. Now, it may have been months as, I'm, as I indicated since the last time I was uh, trained on this unit, so I wanna re-familiarize myself with it. So one of the first things I'll do is I'll kind of do an exploded view. Wow, that's great, super helpful. So I can see all of the different parts to this unit. 
I can actually see and, and see where they kind of fit in and the overall uh, uh, setup. And I'm able to understand a little bit better and refamiliarize myself with this particular unit. Fantastic. So now with that, I'll kind of put my unit back together. Very cool. And the next thing I'm going to want to do is go through back to the main menu. And I'm going to go, want to go through the, how to service this particular unit. So now that, I, now that I've refamiliarized myself with the safety and all the parts that are going to be uh, that are going to be uh, that make up this particular unit, um, now I'm going to refamiliarize myself with how to service it. And let me start playing that procedure. So now, as you can see in front of me, I'm getting step by step instructions on how to dismantle uh, this particular unit, and I'm able to refamiliarize myself and understand what I'm going to need to do, um, the types of tooling I may need to utilize uh, while I'm doing this and exactly how to dismantle this for repairs um, as I'm out here in the field. This is a great experience to have for a technician where I may not be directly uh, connected to a network. I may not have everything at my disposal. Uh, I may not want to carry around service manuals, and I, and I certainly want to have my hands free so that as I'm repairing this, I can actually utilize tooling but also have my heads-up display giving me instructions. So I'll stop that for now. So this is where the HoloLens and, and our partners like PTC can really drive a tremendous amount of value for technicians and frontline workers uh, as they are working on equipment such as this P particular uh, Howden pump. So thank you. So I'd like to thank everybody for participating in today's session. It was a pleasure having the opportunity to do this for you. I want to thank all of the partners that are have participated in the MTC program to bring uh, their demos and their technology to life. And I want to certainly thank all the manufacturers that are out there watching this today. Um, it's been a pleasure to have the opportunity to work with many of you, and I look forward to continuing that experience. Uh, as you know, we, we, we've been broadcasting from the Microsoft Technology Center here in Boston, but all of our technology centers across the globe are here and available for you. Uh, today, we, we are, we're conducting thousands of virtual sessions every year, uh, and we hope uh, that you'll take the opportunity to become part of one of those. Uh, where we can showcase some of this amazing technology in a virtual and hopefully someday live setting. So thank you.